Hello friends, I'm Shweta here again with a new video today. Uh, in this video, uh, I'm going to show you a new pattern. This is specially for the Pavali festival, okay, where uh, most of you have already purchased your uh, sarees for the festival and must be thinking about a new pattern to do for your uh, sarees. So I just thought of sharing this particular design with you guys. So you can see the pattern here. It's double arch the regular double arch with beads and you have three kuchus like usually we do one kuchu but in this we have three kuchus in one particular uh, space okay but uh, mm, the base i will just show you how to make but uh, for the you know remaining part you can uh, check my video on uh, double arch i'll share the link below in the description box okay and uh, this is you know really awesome it looks really very nice and elegant even you can do the same designs for bridal wear also and um, in this we have made a very thick kuchu um, it is 120 strands and above if you take you'll get this kind of thick kuchu okay but if you want a smaller one then you can like a little lesser uh, thickness then you can reduce the number of strands in this and uh, here in the end we have added uh, you know our uh, golden color beads and here um, the bead is up to your choice which whichever you want you can uh, choose and you can add it okay so let's start So usually uh, in the beginning on like uh, I mean to say on the both the ends you will have two kuchus and in the center you will have three kuchus. If, if you want you can even make more number of kuchus no problem but um, I will show you the formula how to do that okay. So yeah, regularly we make two uh, four chain gaps in the regular uh, one kuchu you know space. Like I need to say one kuchu pattern in the double arch. So now I have to add three, four chain gaps. and four The cloth is little thick which I have taken so I am finding it little difficult to pull the strands from the back side. Okay. Let me just show you. So usually I just have one more row which we have done previously and just show you. So in this double arch you can see we have made two four chain gaps here and after that we have added one bead here but in this pattern we are making three chain gaps because we should get two kuchus here okay so that is the reason we are making three chain gaps here and next we are going to add the bead so i'm going to add a long bead make the knot okay and 
lock it and now in the center okay here we have made three chain gaps like four chain uh, three four chain gaps but here we are going to get only one kuchu but if we have to get three kuchus then we should add two more extra chain gaps so that means five chain gaps okay so one two three four five oh sorry it's four and I'm going to lock this okay so now I have done five uh, four chain gaps one two three four and five here so in this we are going to get three kuchus if you want more number of kuchus then how many ever number you want you have to make an extra space for that and now we are going to add one bead okay and make in the end you should have three four chain gaps so we have made three four chain gaps here in the end so both the ends we are going to have uh, three four chain gaps and in the center we'll have five four chain gaps okay this this is how it is going to continue in the next row we are going to make the space for the arch okay so here we are not going to decrease uh, any of the spaces here okay so for the continuing uh, steps you can uh, check in my uh, double arch uh, kuchu video i'll just um, put you know put the link in the description box below so that will help you and that will guide you to continue the pattern but the only uh, you know difference is here in this pattern we are going to have only one four chain gap in the end of the design but here in this particular pattern we are going to have three uh, four chain gaps okay so that we can make three arches okay so i'll just show you here we have uh, put the arch in the second row so that it closes all these work and it gives a very good finishing so hope you can see this now let me just zoom it so it is in the second step so hope the uh, video was useful to you guys uh, and um, try uh, doing this for the festival for your sari if you wish to and uh, this can be you know um, very good idea for as I mentioned you earlier it, uh, it can be a very good uh, design for the bridal wear too okay so thanks for watching uh, please uh, like comment and share the design with your uh, friends and family and do subscribe to my channel and if you have any queries please comment me below I will um, answer to you your questions so thanks for watching thank you bye bye